How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here. Today is going to be a complete anime TV series and movie unboxing. It is going to be on something that we've had for quite a while, uh, but I just apparently haven't made a video on it yet. <laughs> and that is Afro Samurai. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So first up is a TV series, a director's cut version of Afro Samurai. This is done by Gonzo Animation Studio and stuff and released by Funimation. This stars Samuel L. Ja Samuel L. Jackson, Ron Perlman, Kelly Hugh, and a bunch of others. So there's our lead, Afro with the number one uh, headband, which plays a big part of the story. <laughs> Alright, there's the spine. And here's the back. So, 15 minutes of never before seen uh, footage. Here's another picture. Here's some screenshots. There is uh, Justice facing off against uh, Afro's father, which is like a battle in the beginning. And then there he is against Kuma. And yes, that is a teddy bear helmet <laughs> that he is wearing. Uh, you eventually find out more about him, too. All right, so you have the unedited dialogue and picture as it was meant to be seen. So this aired on Spike TV along with the uh, film Resurrection that came out, uh, you know, much later. And there was like an edited version, like the dialogue was different. And I want to say some of the shots were changed. Yeah. So 15 minutes of extra footage, including an extended ending. You have original uh, or exclusive original artwork from the creator Takashi uh, Okazaki in the booth uh, Rizza music production they did a great job with the music of this this sounds awesome character profiles with commentary and yeah to this special edition director's cut 125 minutes and here is the screenshots on the bottom Okay, so region is one. This is uh, just DVD along with the film. Uh, 16 by 9 is the ratio. English 5, or excuse me, English 5.1 Dolby Surround and English Stereo. And this was just done with a dub. There is no like Japanese subtrack or anything like that. Yeah. The same goes with the uh, film if I remember correctly. Yeah. Okay, so there is like a pamphlet or a couple in here. So. Let me show you guys. First one is the anime source. A uh, little catalog. This is when this was coming out. So there he is on the front. Okay. And yeah, there's the spike uh, version that you could have gotten, I think, by itself. Yeah. Then you have the director's cut. Along with a bunch of other shows. There's a little advertisement. More screenshots there. All right, and then there's like other shows. So you have Subasa, Beck. We don't have Beck. I need to get that. That was really good. Mushishi, Suzuka, Peach Girl. Some other shows. All right, these are really cool. You know, let you know what was coming out at the time. All right, then here's the main one. Okay, and this mostly has like merchandise, so you have the soundtrack, which we don't have. I need to get that because the music was really good. You also had action figures. So you have Kuma, Ninja Ninja, who's like this comic relief guy, <laughs> uh, Afro and Justice. I don't know if I've ever found those. Yeah, I even seen those in the store. Here's a cool picture. And there's also like keychains, some wall scrolls, necklace. Yeah, really cool stuff. All right, so Afro Samurai. Uh, this is amazing. Really, really good. Uh, so you follow Afro as a child. In the beginning, uh, his father is facing off against uh, Justice, who's like this, uh, I guess you could say like a, cowboy gunslinger 
and his father just wields like a you know a big sword, and they both have these headbands. One says the number two, and the other says the number one. There's some great artwork on here, by the way. Really cool. This has like a nice, kind of rough, kind of matte finish. And then this opens up here, and you get another picture. And there's Justice, who manages to beat him. Now, as far as how, you don't quite know yet, because you're wondering, because it looks like his, uh, Afro's father had the advantage there. And it's like, how did he win? That comes up eventually. <laughs> uh, but you think he... Uh, if I remember correctly, you have to wait till the film. Or no, 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 no. Till, uh, the end of this, yeah. So, uh, you follow him from there as a child, and, you know, you... It cuts to him as an adult, and he has the number two. And the only way to fight the number one is to have that headband. Uh, let's, if you have another one, because I believe there are others, yeah. Uh, that you eventually see. And the rules go, well, anyone can challenge the number two. And so he is constantly in battle. Like, this is him after a battle. I mean, look at that. Or during one. Yeah, covered. You know, in red and stuff. It's, and the action is beautifully done. Really, really good. Story overall is great. Voice acting is also really, really good. Ron Perlman as Justice. My gosh. <laughs> he sounds like kind of creepy and stuff. Uh, Afro uh, voiced by Samuel L. Jackson, who also does, uh, I think he does Ninja Ninja as well. Uh, really good. All right. So now let's put the disc uh, back in. So the first one has a film. And then the second one has the other... Like bonus features, like in the booth, commentary, and stuff. So, yeah, really good uh, quality on this. Still holds up. Still looks great. Sounds great. This is some of, some of the, uh, like, villains and stuff. They all have, like, numbers. One just listens to music. <laughs> you have, like, the leader with a robot hand. Yeah, there's stuff with, like, cybernetics and things like that. Yeah, the world they live in, it's, like, medieval times. Or, or no, like, feudal Japan or something? Yeah, but they have, like, technology and stuff. Yeah. And the thing with the headbands is almost like a... I guess you could say, like, tradition that goes on. And, yeah. Uh, fights, battles ensue. Uh, you have action. There's comedy. There's somewhat of an adventure kind of feel. Because Afro just kind of travels around looking for uh, justice. Uh, you also have uh, uh, gore. There's horror in here as well. Uh, really, really good. The music by the RZA, excellent. They did a really good job. Uh, really catchy themes. Afro's theme is really good too. And uh, yeah, this release. So this is an older one. We've had these, uh, this one in Resurrection for years. Uh, you should still be able to find it. Getting it new might be kind of hard. I have found these used secondhand. Uh, quite a bit. Now, there is a Blu-ray for this. It just says uh, Season 1, uh, Director's Cut, or I think it says Unrated. So, that is still available. It is, I think, a right stuff. It's like $11, $12. On Amazon right now, it's like $9.99. So, you can get it for really cheap. Uh, now, there was a complete set that had both this one and the film. However, I think that might be out of print. So... Yeah, I want to say I saw it on Amazon. I think it was going for a super high price. So, yeah, if you are looking for that or any of these, just be careful of pricing, you know, depending on where you look. Uh, but well worth it. Afro Samurai, excellent. So, yeah, you have this one. This is the one I recommend because you get the extras, the extended ending, uh, 15 minutes. Yo, know, never before seen footage. Awesome. All right. So that came out, did its thing. It was, it was really, really good. And eventually there was word that there was going to be a sequel, which was a film. And here is Afro Samurai Resurrection. Full length uh, feature film. And I'll give you guys a nice close-up shot. So there's Ninja Ninja, there's Afro, there's Zio. Or Zio, yeah. It's an S, not a Z. <laughs> 
There's Kuma, like a motorcycle and stuff. So the villains. Very nice. All right, so here's the spine. So this is another uh, two-disc uh, special director's cut uh, version. And here's some more screenshots. And yeah, there it is. Let it clear out that we guys can see it nice and clear. All right, and here is the back. So once again, you have uh, Samuel Jackson, you have uh, Lucy Liu, who plays Zio, and you also have Mark Hamill, plays a role in here, uh, the RZA returns, and stuff, but yeah. So same thing, unedited dialogue, picture as it was meant to be seen, Paths of the Samurai, that's a booklet that you get. And you get lots of special features, featurettes, other interviews. There's a featurette about the game, which I think we played. I don't think I don't think we own it, yeah. Afro Samurai at San Diego Comic Con 2008. Man, that's a long time ago. <laughs> it was a long time since these have come out. And you also have a Part A video commentary and stuff. Uh, region is 1, 16 by 9 ratio, English 5.1, Dolby surround sound, and yeah, as far as subtitles go, I, I recall this being just plain dub and no other subtitles, so. Alright. Okay, so there is one side. <laughs> awesome artwork on here. There's another picture, look at that. Yeah, these releases are really cool. Okay, and before I open up the rest, let me show you guys the pamphlets. So, Director's Cut and Spike TV broadcast version, uh, DVD, Director's Cut, Blu-ray. So, yeah, I want to say that besides the complete collection that has both, that this one also had a single Blu-ray release. However, I believe that's out of print, yeah. Okay, there's, that's what it looks like in the game. Uh, I remember playing that. I thought it was cool. Yeah, it's like an open world, kind of. You know, you just run around and, you know, fight people off and stuff. And there was also a manga. Uh, there's volumes one and two, which I think that's all there was. But story and art is done by the creator, Takashi uh, Okazaka. It was really cool. Uh, I remember looking at it, and yeah, I believe that is a shot from it. Yeah, really good. Okay, so let's move that off to the side. And here is the Path of the Samurai booklet. Not on the back. There's a cool shot. And a legendary number one headband. It's promise is power, omnipotence, immortality, but at what cost? One that is greater than any man can imagine. And heavier than any man can bear. No soul who has ever worn its tattered grace has ever escaped the torment of its infinite burden. Samuel Jackson, I believe that is the one that reads that. And I think that's part of Afro's theme. And I believe it was in this film or the TV series. Yeah, it's really cool the way he sounds when he reads it. <laughs> it's very dark. It kind of like uh, ominous, you know, it's like, do you really want this headband? Is it worth all the, you know, the battles and stuff? Are you willing to go through all that? You know, it's a big theme that comes up. Also, uh, you know, thing with revenge. So you go through the first film and or the first series, and this just adds to it. So you have Afro Ninja Ninja. There is Zio Kuma. Just a little details about the characters. You have Professor Darman, Shichi Goro. Ben, Michael, and Tommy, or Tommy A. However you want to pronounce it. And this film, I thought was awesome. It's still really good. Animation. Also, the uh, voice acting is good. Story, I thought, was really good. And here's like some... Almost like storyboards, or it says image boards. And these look really cool. It's like them, you know, putting the story together, 
seen how it all works. These are like character profiles, settings, and you also have background stuff. Yeah. World view as it says. All right. So yeah, Resurrection, uh, really good. And yeah, this aired on uh, Spike TV and stuff, but uh, I don't recall if I ever saw it on there. I think I just got this uh, when it got released. And because uh, I remember seeing the commercials for it. Yeah, so here are the disc. Once again, it's all on uh, DVD. So there's disc one. And disc two. And this still holds up too. Uh, quality still excellent. And there's Afro Kuma looking awesome back to back. And you get to find out more about Afro's backstory. Uh, you know, because the first one, it just cuts from him after his father's defeated uh, to him being, you know, an adult and stuff. And you wonder, okay, how did he. How did he survive this long? Like, what, what happened? <laughs> and you get to find out more about Kuma and their connection. And a bunch of other characters. And yeah, really, really cool. And here's the front all lined up. All right. And that does it for Afro Samurai, the TV series, and the movie Resurrection. Uh, feel free to let me know. Have you guys seen either of these uh which one is you know your favorite and let's see if I can get these oh got it backwards all right and also have you guys seen the uh whether it's the director's cut or the you know the spike uh tv version uh what do you guys think of the voice acting the music is really really good action is great animation overalls is awesome Okay, and let's display these guys. So let's put it like that. And we'll just move it over. Alright, and there they are. Both look good together. So yeah, feel free to let me know what you guys think. Uh, these are really good. Really, really awesome. Uh, I just remember the commercials uh, for the first one. And just checked it out uh, when it was on one day. And like, wow, I need to get this. <laughs> So I am on the lookout for the Blu-rays. Uh, I'm looking out for the complete collection. I want to say I found it secondhand a couple of times. Uh, but yeah, I think that set in general, I think it's out of print. Uh, maybe it's out there new somewhere. Uh, maybe I just haven't found it yet. Uh, but yeah, feel free to let me know what you guys think. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.